Only weeks ago, the malevolent Saravak brought the city of Baldur's Gate to the edge of destruction. You, like him, are a child of Baal, the dead god of murder. Baal foresaw his own death and sired mortal children in an effort to bring about his return. Saravak intended to become the new lord of murder. You put an end to Saravak's plans and slew your half-brother. With his passing, you became known as the hero of Baldur's Gate. Now, a new threat casts a shadow over the city. A massive army on a holy crusade has thrown the Sword Coast into turmoil. Little is known of the crusade's leader, the charismatic warrior Kalar Argent. Those who follow her revere her as the Shining Lady, but her background and goals are shrouded in mystery. Some say she is divine, a hero sent by the gods to crush evil no matter the cost. Others whisper that she is another spawn of Baal, intent on following the same path as Saravok. One thing above all else is clear. If the Sword Coast is to find any measure of peace, Kalar Argent must be stopped. Sarawak's dead. Everything's a mess. We should have gotten out of the city days ago. No chance of that now. But Corlage knows what she's doing and... Hey, did you hear that? We'd better tell the boss. Come on. Ugh. Smells like moldy bones down here. Bones and evil! That is the stench which Minsk sniffs. Well, here we are in a creepy old tomb again. The last of Saravok's followers are down here. According to the Flaming Fist, all you gotta do is find their leader and bring her to justice. I really want to. I wouldn't be much help, though. Ever since I asked Duke Janath to teach me how to sling spells, she's had me cooped up in the stuffy old library, studying boring books about the Weave. She only let me come down here after I promised to bring her any arcane scrolls or tomes I could find. They're mostly mercenaries, led by a wizard named Korlaz. This is her family's tomb. She aided Saravok and the Grand Dukes want her dead or alive. We'd better be careful. Want to, but won't. My head's so muddled with spells right now, I can barely get my boots on. I'd only cause problems for you down here. I'll follow behind you with these flaming fists. If you need help with anything, just ask and I'll do what I can. There's a healer here too. 
talk to her if you need any bandaging. She also knows all about fighting undead. Timora shine on you. Not that you'll need it. Not a problem. You're too late! It's already gone! Aren't you here for his sword? I thought... Three drops of lemon balm oil. <laughs> A half pinch of powdered silver. Oh, I I'm creating an alchemical concoction to reveal magically concealed writings. Uh, a mercenary was supposed to guide me further into the tomb to find the component I'm missing. Just now, their leader summoned them away, though. She bid me stay here for my own safety. If you happen to come across Cobalt Moss and bring some to me, I'd be truly grateful. Back away. Back away and you might survive this. I'm sure looks deep. Do you feel warm air coming up from below? I do. Wonder what's down there. C can I help you? Hmm? Yes? Not a problem. We've reached the catacombs. Watch your step. There are bound to be traps. I wouldn't be surprised if they're more undead, too. Tombs like this are usually full of wandering old bones. If you need some advice on dealing with undead, the Flaming Fist Healer might be able to help. She's a priestess of Lathander, and knows a lot about how to deal with restless spirits. Not a problem.
hundred pounds of justice! I stand ready. Our magic will end thee!